Benjamin are barbers consumed. How markets corrupt children, infantilize adults and swallow citizens whole, is a compelling exploration of the intricate ways in which consumerism shapes our identities, behaviors, and societal structures. With meticulous analysis and impassioned prose, Barber delves into the profound impact of market forces on individuals, communities, and the democratic process itself. Barber's central thesis revolves around the idea that consumer capitalism has not only permeated our economic systems but has deeply infiltrated our social and cultural spheres. He argues that the market-driven culture not only commodifies goods but also manipulates desires, values, and even civic engagement. Throughout the book, Barber illustrates how this phenomenon has led to the erosion of traditional values, the decline of meaningful citizenship, and the emergence of a culture obsessed with instant gratification and materialism. One of the most striking aspects of Barber's analysis is his exploration of the ways in which consumerism targets different demographics. He emphasizes how markets exploit children by promoting products and ideologies that shape their identities and desires from a young age. This manipulation not only affects their individual development but also contributes to a larger societal trend of fostering a consumer-oriented mindset from early childhood. Moreover, Barber doesn't limit his critique to the younger generation. He sheds light on how consumer culture perpetuates infantilization among adults, encouraging them to prioritize immediate pleasures and indulgences over long-term consequences or meaningful engagements. This infantilization, he argues, undermines the capacity for responsible citizenship and active participation in democratic processes, as individuals become more focused on consumption rather than civic duties. Throughout the book, Barber's prose is impassioned and thought-provoking. His critique of consumer capitalism isn't merely an academic exercise but a passionate call to action. He challenges readers to re-evaluate their relationship with consumer culture and to recognize the societal implications of a market-driven society. His use of vivid examples and compelling anecdotes adds depth and authenticity to his arguments, making the book accessible and engaging to a wide audience. Barber also delves into the consequences of consumerism on the environment, highlighting how the relentless pursuit of profit often comes at the expense of ecological sustainability. This exploration of the environmental impact serves as a reminder that consumer culture not only affects individuals and societies but also poses a significant threat to the planet's well-being. Despite the grim assessment of consumerism's effects, Barber doesn't abandon hope. He calls for a reinvigoration of civic engagement, a reassessment of values beyond material wealth, and a reclaiming of democratic principles from the clutches of market forces. His vision for a more engaged, responsible, and participatory society serves as a guiding beacon amidst the pervasive influence of consumer capitalism. In conclusion, Consumed stands as a poignant critique of consumer culture, dissecting its multifaceted influence on individuals, communities, and the fabric of democracy. Barber's eloquent prose and impassioned plea for a re-evaluation of societal values make this book not just a scholarly work but a manifesto for reclaiming agency in the face of a market-driven world.